Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Carson. Brock, I planned on drilling this 17 inch well to 400 feet on reverse circulation, but things have changed and I have to use mud rotary. What do you think? Do you think this can happen? Absolutely. These are the questions I need to know. You know, uh, what depth do we believe we're going to have static water level? When is it going to be saturated? What's our formations going to look like? Uh, in the rest of your text, you said, you know, 55 foot of uh, sandy clay shifting from there to some uh, clay and sand laminates into sand and gravel with some clay strips and then red sticky clay beyond 320 feet. So we look at that and we can build a fluids program around that. The 17 inch bit. You know, that's when I start thinking about it. What what size mud pump are we going to run? Are we going to run a four by three that's on the rig? Do we have a six and a half by eight, a seven and a half by ten? Uh, you mentioned you have a six and a half by eight piston. So excellent. You know, we're going to be able to maintain an uphold velocity of somewhere between 35 and 50 feet per minute. Obviously, we want 60 or greater. And you think about it, those clay cuttings moving at... Uh, to have them move at 60 feet per minute uphold velocity, I need a velocity of a fluid that's moving faster than that. So what, what is going to be dependent on this? We know that a 17 inch bit's gonna be 11 and a half gallons per foot, give or take. The important thing to know is a 20 foot rod, that's going to be 210 gallons or 1.9 cubic, no, 1.09 cubic yards of material. That's a lot of material. So when I build my fluids program, you know, I know I'm drilling in a lot of clay, but I got some sands and gravels coming up. So I'm running 15 pounds per hundred uh, high yield bentonite. And then I'm running a, uh, you know, a pack material for filtration control. I want that pack to get me under 12 cc. So I'm running, you know, three quarters of a pound per hundred. And then uh, a low molecular weight PHPA. I love Easy Mud Gold. Its secondary property is also filtration control because of that short chain and it inhibits. So we start drilling. The next thing I got to realize is the amount of material I'm moving. And as I look at that material I'm moving, maintaining flow. So those first couple of rods, you're probably running seven minutes. You know, if I can maintain 300 gallons a minute, up, you know, not uphold velocity, but fluid output. And then as I get five, six rods in, you know, I'm going to start to, I need to continue to maintain flow, but I got to look at the material I'm removing. What new drilling fluids am I adding? Am I adding just water or am I adding a whole fluid? And uh, I would say add a whole fluid. Each rod's going to be 210 gallons. So, you know, five rods in, I'm 1,050 low. So I, if I was doing reverse, I have a big pit or I have a solids control unit that can maintain, you know, 400 gallons a minute of cleaning capacity. Next piece, I get into that porosity zone, you know, where I'm gonna get that water out of. Since I'm cutting such a big hole, I gotta think about, uh, if I'm mixing on the fly, am I pumping unyielded bentonite into that production zone? The next piece of that, where is my mud weight? Do I have good solids control? Did I have enough volume? We need to be under 8.8 .8 pounds per gallon. We want low solids because the path of least resistance for the water needs to be in so we have good production, not our heavy mud and unyielded bentonites going out. And finally, I get to the point where I'm gonna start to install my product and uh, I get my screen and my casing in and then I do my gravel pack and I wash that gravel pack in with a dispersant to help break up that mud cake. You know, I get that good annular seal in there and I immediately develop on it that day, even if it's into the late night, depending on how it's going to go. And that's the keys to success. You know, the big question is why a 17 inch bit? What type of product am I installing? If I look at my production zone in, you know, which we learn a lot about looking at the least amount of impact of that formation, the right amount of gravel pack. And that comes back to knowing our local regulations. If we need two and a half inch oversized hole or whatever those specs are, but maintaining that, keeping a good gauge hole and uh, doing it. And I know this is all possible because we've run mud rotary all over the world and been successful. Uh, reverse is great, but the most available tool that can get our job done successfully, safely, and make us money is the best tool to use. So good luck, Carson. Let's find out how this goes.